Welcome back. Saturated fat, is it good or bad? Well that would be dependent on your beliefs and values, what you've read, who you've been listening to. It is my understanding, it is my belief that saturated fat is good for you and is an essential part in your diet. So where are you going to get saturated fat from? Well, you will certainly, I'm actually um, just preparing um, an organic chicken here, so I'm taking the skin and everything off and I'm eating the whole thing and I'm going to be using the bones to make some, uh, some other soup later on. Um, saturated fat is in obviously animal meat, uh, flesh, butter, great source. If you do any, if nothing else in this recording, if you just make one change in your life and you actually buy organic butter, you'll be doing yourself a great service and the environment and the people in the environment. Um, lard, ghee, coconut oil. Now coconut oil uh, is an MCT, a mild train triglyceride. Contains lauric acid, which kills parasites. Both your liver and your kidneys will uh, fall back in, uh, sorry, your liver and your thyroid will fall back in love with you if you consume that. And interestingly enough, if you changed your diet, as in all the oils that you used, and only used coconut oil, over 12 months, the research shows you could lose 36 pounds. Whoa! That's assuming that you're required to lose weight, and if you're not, then still use it. It's great for your skin as well. Organic. I know I keep saying that, but please, organic. So saturated fat has had a, a terrible rap. I mean, our doctors, bless them, and the media, they're just... Uh, you know, if you went back to the 1950s, I think it was Ansel Keys uh, once uh, made a statement that saturated fat was bad for us. And then I think on his deathbed, he then realised he was wrong. <laughs> saturated fat, it's been on our menu for, what, um, 2.6 plus million years? How, the, how could it possibly be bad for us? So, it's actually not true. There's no truth in the research that I've read that shows that saturated fat is bad for us. It's very good for us. However, as you realise, like with all foods, that if you would like your biceps and muscles and your 50 trillion cells in your body as healthy as you would like to have them, firing on all cylinders, then think about what you are consuming. Because if it's true that we dig our graves one fork at a time, you can make a smarter choice by certainly listening to and filling your head with knowledge that will serve you and those around you. Don't buy into any of my stuff, but go and find out if it's true. Saturated fat, polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs, monounsaturated fatty acids, and also trans fats. So if you are, are now and again, you'll go to your McDonald's and your KFC, they contain um, trans fats, and clearly the research shows, leading to coronary heart disease and a lot of other Western diseases, including cancer, if you are eating a diet with any of that um, oil fat in it. Now, as you realize, generally most saturated fats are actually stable at room temperature, which is fine. An example, if you use olive oil, which is a great oil, but don't go above the smoking point, because all oils have their own smoking point. If you go above that, it becomes rancid, fetid, and carcinogenic. But if you cooked with olive oil, it's liquid at room temperature, but then afterwards it would become solid. If it did, you've changed the structure. You've got a problem. I would not eat that. So if you wanted to help with the cooking, then use turmeric. That's great for reducing inflammation as well. Just to help the oil, because as I say, once you up the temperature, so liberally on your salads, no problem, please do it. Butter is great. I just can't overemphasize how good butter is. Uh, but if you make any investments, ensure that it is organic, please. Um, the MCT, the, the coconut oil, if I'll come back to that, it's, um, as I said before, it's great for the, the thyroid, it's great for the liver, great for the skin, and you can lose weight. And I can't overemphasize, if just, just, I love the taste of it as well, and I use it in my cooking, it's just brilliant. Um, I'd like you to do your own research and find out if what I'm sharing with you makes sense and is the truth. I've been, um, a lot of the stuff that I remind you about, I've been doing for many, many years. And it has not only served me, 
and those around me and my family, but it's also served my clients. So please, find out if it's truthful. But saturated fat is good. The problem with most fats, though, would be the toxins. So, unless the animal was treated well, and wasn't injected with growth hormones and antibiotics, just think about it. That goes into you. You see, when you're driving your car or your, your motorbike, and you're going through a mountain and you're going through this big tunnel, I don't think your vehicle touched the sides. But here's the deal. When you consume a food or product, every single cell in your body is going to be affected by it. So please ensure that it was on the menu 10,000 years ago. Remember that anything with a shelf life does not have a self life. So saturated fat is good and I wish you well on your journey to find out if what I'm sharing with you is the truth for you. Enjoy. My love to you all. Bye for now.